Welcome back to Creepy Crawler's Garage and another daily update. We've got the TRXZ project back together and we've done a little more work on the Ripsaw project. So let's go ahead and head into the garage and take a look. Don't go anywhere. As promised, we got the TRXZ project back together and assembled. So now we can see how all the weathering works together uh, as an assembled truck. And I love how the red fender and this front wheel just stand out. Like you can you can tell it's off of a di completely different truck. Like this was salvaged and put on here because there was damage up front and it's just from a completely different truck and how the rest of the truck uh, all kind of works together uh, including the rear cage that now you can see how the weathering looks on the rear cage. I think the brown was the right choice to go on this cage. Uh, I like how that uh, works with the black truck. I think I'm probably going to end up doing the running boards brown. I'll probably add some tubing to these running boards uh, and do it brown also. So it kind of looks like we built the cage and the running boards at the same time. Uh, I, I'm going to leave the running boards and just add cage to them or add tubing to them because these running boards are actually what's holding in the body right now. Um, so I'll just add that brown tube to it. And I think that'll give a good, uh, that'll look good with the black body. Uh, I also went in and added some silver to this back wheel. And I think that that worked out well also really makes those back wheels pop. Um, I think it, I, it looks better than just the flak black and, and with the rust and the dirt, uh, I think that silver really makes those the wheels pop now. I like how that looks. Um, and then what I really wanted to point out to you guys is yet yeah, last night, in fact, af just after I finished recording yesterday, at the door showed up the cutouts from Wes over at Wes Made Build for the front bumper. So let me straighten this out for us so we can take a look. So you can see what he did is he cut the the the, uh, the skull logo, our shop skull logo, out of um, out of styrene, uh, and now basically what I did is I took and glued that to uh, some clear acrylic, which holds it all together. Painted it black. I've started weathering it. It still looks a little out of place. I got to get them to match uh, the color and the weathering of the rest of the bumper, but that's not that's not a problem. But what's really cool is when we have a light kit in this and the headlights are on, they're going to shine through this clear acrylic. So the hopefully the hope is that these logos will kind of glow and especially when we're shooting in in dark scenes or with mist and stuff like that especially with the mist where you could have it just kind of or some smoke or whatever and you can have those skulls kind of glowing through the smoke but it, and then at night shots where all you see is some glowing skulls coming at you i think that's going to look pretty good at least i hope so we'll find out when we go to when it comes time to shooting this but i think it's going to work for us uh either way around this is a great job done by wes over at west may build to get these cut out for me um i I think they look really cool and it's gonna it really sets off the bumper let me know let me know what you think down in the comment section but anyways i just wanted to give you guys uh, i'd promise you that I'd, I'd get everything back together so you can kind of get a look at what it how it looks all assembled and so here's what we got so far for the trxz project uh let me know oh before i forget just before i started filming i forgot this showed up at the door i got the uh, metal mesh that I'm going to use for the uh, for the uh, for the windows for the for the driver side and passenger side windows. So I think I'm going to use this metal mesh. We had, we had talked about using uh, these that D&D Sports sent over. I think I'm going to end up using these like we had talked about in a trailer, just as tie downs. Um, and then I'm going to use this metal mesh since it has a little bit bigger mesh to it. We can see through it a little better, and I can rust this up. But I think it'll look good with it all rusty, uh, and we can see through it better to see the characters that are inside because we're going to have a guy in there shooting a big 50 50 mil gun out the front windows we want to be able to see that guy aiming the gun so i think this is going to work for us um, i got a whole roll of it so we can use it elsewhere too um, but i think this will work for those windows let me know what you think down in the comment section I've also been working on the Ripsaw project and it probably doesn't look a whole lot different, but I've actually started laying down some of the layers of grime. So if you look closely, you can start to see there's some black and some browns in here that are just, I'm just trying to make it look a little more grimy. I also added a little bit of paint. So we got, uh, you know, our, our trophies, our kill trophies here from this vehicle. So we got a couple trucks, maybe a motorcycle. And well, this is a bad guy. So maybe he, he hit somebody in a wheelchair at some point. Um, but so we got the trophies on the side. I think I'm going to fade those out a little more. They're a little too bright white for me. Uh, so I'll use some, uh, I'll use some washes to kind of fade those back a little bit. Also added, uh, also added the teeth to the front, which I think will look kind of cool when it's coming at you, adds a little character to it. Um, but basically just starting to add 
some of the grime and dust. If you, if you look at it, it looks just a little more faded back. Uh, we got some browns and some black washes going on it. Um, so it's starting to look a little bit more grimy. And then I also started working on some of the armor for it. So I'm gonna build up the armor that's gonna be going on this first, and then we'll do the melee weapons. But I started with these, because obviously we need to cover these uh, uh, mounting post holes. So I figured we'd do couple body plates here uh, to cover those holes. We got some in the back, so we're gonna cover the, the window completely. In fact, uh, you can tell these, these windows are actually all hazed out from the body itself. Um, don't worry about that. The windows are either gonna be cut out or there's gonna be body armor on top of them. So you're not gonna be able to see that hazed out window anyways. Um, but uh, there is body holes or body mount holes back here. So definitely gonna have a body. In fact, here I can show you if I flip it around. The, the holes for the body mounts are here. So we're gonna put a armor plate back there for for sure, um, and, and, and here and there, but mostly what's gonna be going on here once I get that done is uh, the melee weapons, which we had talked about doing, and we've had a lot of great ideas about. Um, but anyways, this is where the ripsaw is at so far, just starting to kind of grime it up a little bit, make it dirty, give it that old look. I think it's coming along, I really, I actually kind of like the way it's looking. I think it's looking pretty good. Let me know what you think down below. Um, but I'm definitely get, definitely going to get a coat of dust jet also and a, and a bunch more grime. Um, but let me know what you think so far down below. Uh, if you have any ideas on body armor, like what we should do as far as the, bo as far as the body armor goes, uh, let me know on that also. Uh, but anyways, here's, here we are on the Ripstop project. Just let me know down in the comments section what you think. Yesterday, we talked about doing a food truck for the city block we're building, a food truck that's basically an arms dealer. So not only can you get your burger and fries, but you can get your M16. Thanks, James Swift, for a great comment. That's I think that's awesome. What we ought to do is have some special orders when we make a menu, some special orders actually equals M16. So burgers and fries, that's your M16. Anyways, I thought that was a great comment. Thanks thanks for sending that over. But what I needed was a base to build the food truck off of. And I got a lot of great ideas. In fact, some ideas that I'll probably be using for other builds, but I think what won for this build is gonna be the Tonka Winnebago. I think this will be perfect to build a food truck off of. Gives plenty of room uh, that we so we can put weapons on the inside and have big missile launchers and bazookas and everything else on the inside. So when the side doors open, you can see in plenty of room for a character inside. The scale seems right. I think this is probably going to be the winner. I looked at them on eBay. They're not exactly cheap. Um, they're not expensive either, but they're not. I wouldn't say they're cheap. I think I can pick one up for about a hundred bucks. Um, a one that's in decent shape that we can build off of. There seems to be a bit of a following for these things too. So we might get a bit of the community angry at us when we start cutting it up, but that, that's okay. It won't be the first time <laughs> that the community is angry at me, but I'll definitely be cutting it up and adding sad doors, side doors and turning it into a food truck. And I think this is going to be the winner in the way that we go forward. Um, if you have any other ideas, keep them coming because uh, obviously I haven't purchased this yet. Um, so if there's other ideas, let me know. I know we had the idea of using a, uh, a Barbie Winnebago, which I might use in a different way. Uh, also, uh, we had a, a, a rickshaw idea or a tuk-tuk idea. I think that could be a good idea to have sitting in an alleyway too. Anyways, we had a lot of good ideas come down, um, but I think the, the Tonka Winnebago is the winner. And I just really appreciate all the, uh, all the input Put down in the comment section. Thanks for joining me again today here in the garage for another daily update. And I just want to say some quick thank yous uh, to Addy Monster, to D&D Sports, uh, and to Westmate over at Westmate Builds for sending in some of the materials we're using for these builds. I also want to say a big thank you to Highway 1 RC and Bull Gear RC for letting me work on some of their projects for them. Uh, I really appreciate that. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, thank you for all, the, all you out there that are watching. Thank you for your support and hitting that like button. I'm really surprised at the amount of support and the excitement I've got for this series. Uh, I've had some great comments down below. Uh, about how they they're hooked on the channel and that it makes their day watch that makes that makes my day guys so i really appreciate all those comments down below leave me all the comments on uh the the builds we're doing in here i, I love reading them uh, and i love uh replying to you so leave those comments down below hit the subscribe button sub hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up uh with these builds um and i will see you guys next week bye bye